If you've ever been in a performance and been really nervous and wanted to know how to either eliminate or control those nerves, then you're in the right place. My name is John Kurakawa, and today we're going to discuss tips and strategies for controlling your performance nerves. The first thing to understand is the nature of fear and adrenaline. When we're nervous, our heart rate increases because our body has detected a fight or flight situation. This is encoded in our DNA. There's no sense in getting angry at yourself for being nervous. I mean, really, how many of you have ever felt ashamed for being nervous? Probably a lot of you, including myself. So don't get angry at yourself for being nervous. That's a waste of time. Instead, just accept those feelings. It's not bad information or good information. It's just information. Go with the flow. Next tip, take several deep breaths before you play. This has actually been clinically proven to reduce stress and have a calming effect. Consider using an app on your smartwatch or phone to help regulate your breathing. You can do this before you go on stage. Next tip, have several coping mechanisms. Do you get cold hands? Maybe have some hand warmers close by, you know, like the kind you used to use for marching band. Or you can sit on your hands. Do you get dry mouth? Have a bottle of water handy. Do you get butterflies in your stomach? Don't eat a fully loaded Chipotle burrito five minutes before your concert. Knowing how your body is going to react to being nervous and having those coping mechanisms can greatly increase your security. Next tip, trust yourself. Trust in your preparation. Don't try to be perfect, just follow your performance plan. Next, trust your audience. Your friends will hopefully be there, your family, maybe your teachers, and they all want you to do well. Nobody wants you to fail. I mean, let's be real. If your friends want you to fail, you need new friends. Knowing that there are a bunch of allies out in the audience really helps my confidence. Sometimes we think of the audience as a pool of killer sharks that we're about to jump into. They're not. They all want you to do well, and they're eager to see you succeed. Next, practice, 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 and then practice some more. As my friend Chris Chafee says, only practice on days that end in Y. Do you get it? Mark your breaths in your music, as this can often be a lifesaver. And make sure you're going to practice the way you're going to perform. It often amuses me when I see people warming up and they either play so obnoxiously loud or so timid practice and test your reads the way you're going to play them in real life. Use technology. Remember to record yourself and especially the difficult passages when you're getting ready for that important concert or audition. Although auditions, that's another video. It's a lot easier to find mistakes when you're listening to somebody else and not yourself. I mean, you got a lot to concentrate on, right? Is your embouchure correct? Are you moving your fingers right? Are you playing in rhythm, playing in tune, listening to the metronome? So many things. So record yourself. Use your phone. It might not be able to judge tone quality per se, but you can definitely hear issues with rhythm and pitch. Remember, if your preparation is thorough, then there's no reason to be nervous to the point where you can't focus or concentrate. As my teacher Ron DeCant used to say, you want to walk out on stage feeling like there's absolutely nothing else you could have possibly done. That can be a great confidence booster. Next, play for others as much as possible. One of the reasons we get nervous in performances is because we simply don't practice performing enough. Honestly, when you're first getting started, it doesn't matter. One of your studio mates, your parents, a good friend, they don't even have to be a musician. Just pull somebody aside and say, hey, can I play my piece for you? Or even your most difficult passages. Your friends, studio mates, or colleagues can all give you valuable advice, and this can help you get used to playing in front of people. By the way, if you're enjoying these tips, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I deeply, deeply appreciate everybody who's been watching my videos and leaving comments and likes. It really means a lot. I want to put out the best content for you. Okay, now back to the tips. Once you know how your body reacts to nerves, consider simulating those conditions in your practice. I don't know about you, but my heart races a lot when I play. As I get closer to a performance, sometimes I like to do 50 jumping jacks and then immediately sit down and try to play a passage. Or I'll run up and down the stairs and then try to play. 
Do your hands get really cold? Mine do. Sometimes I'll hold ice cubes in my hands until they feel numb, and then I'll try to play. This might seem a little bit sadistic, but it's a great way to practice dealing with those symptoms of nerves. If you only experience cold hands in a concert, that's not the first time you want to be dealing with that. So practice simulating the physical symptoms of your nerves. It goes without saying that you need to keep up with your reed work. Walking onto stage with a good selection of reeds is one of the best tranquilizers known to humankind. Yeah, I'm talking to you. As we approach the performance date, one of the things I like to do is slow the metronome down. Practicing everything slowly again, even though I've been working it up all this time, just adds some extra security to my performance. Since we've been talking about how our body reacts to nerves, watch your diet, especially the day of a performance. On the day of a performance, I typically avoid caffeine, which is really hard for me, but I know it'll pay off by being calmer later. I also tend to stick to more bland foods and avoid a lot of salt, as this can dry me out. Pick something that isn't going to stress your digestive system and let you feel comfortable. Besides, one of the best parts of a concert is going out to eat afterwards, right? So save the big feast for after your concert. If you get butterflies in your stomach, you'll be glad that your stomach is not full of spaghetti and meatballs when they do come. Remember that excessive nerves are to be avoided by practice, 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 and more practice. A little bit of nerves is natural. It often helps me to remind myself that the reason why I'm nervous is because I really care. I really care about doing a good job in front of my friends and family and colleagues. I mean, really, when was the last time you ever got nervous about something you didn't care about? Nobody gets nervous about taking out the trash. Nobody ever gets nervous about closing the car door. Nobody ever gets nervous about walking to get the mail. Nobody ever gets nervous walking to the vending machine to get a Diet Coke. You only get nervous about the things you care about. And reminding yourself that you're nervous because you care, well, that helps me. Don't get angry at yourself for being nervous. It's a perfectly natural reaction. Try to show up early. It's stressful enough to perform without running around trying to take care of things at the last minute, or even worse, being potentially late. Personally for myself, I like to be on the set no later than 30 minutes. This gives me adequate time to warm up my instruments, try my reads in the space, and just get in a good place mentally. Show up early. Consider having a little time before the performance to be alone. This helps you to get centered, be focused, and get ready for your performance. If you're running around like a crazy person, you're more likely to be a little more scatterbrained and unfocused come performance time. So consider spending some time alone to breathe and get focused. Remember, your performance can be either an opportunity or an ordeal. Always choose opportunity. Preparation for any concert, whether it's a studio recital or a band concert or orchestra concert or solo recital, is a really valuable experience. You've already won by putting in all of that time. Although I'm always a little bit nervous before I walk on stage, I'm also really excited to share all the hard work and preparation I put into preparing my concert. One of the most important, be positive. If you walk around telling everybody your performance is going to suck, you'll probably find a way to make it happen. So be positive. This will do wonders for your mental health and for your performance. Practically, don't practice too much on the day of a performance. Think of your endurance like water in a glass. You don't want to drink it all in the morning. Save some for the concert. Personally, for myself, I like to do some long tones, some scales, and if I touch my music, very, very, very slow practice. It can be mentally disastrous if you try to brush up on some of the hard sections of your music and you mess up. This can create a mental block, something we definitely do not want. So save everything for the performance. And now for the most important, important tip, have fun. You've earned it. If you're interested in reading up more on controlling your performance nerves, some of my favorite books are linked down in the description. Thank you all for watching. Take care, play well, and I'll see you next week.